course is closed, the weather's atrocious, and we have retreated to the range. And what we're going to do is get Matty an extra 30 yards with his big stick. Let's do it. Let's go. Ooh. Not a bad start, Matthew. What have we got there? 150 off the bat. Oh, that's pitiful. No, this is good. <laughs> this is good. First drive, we're looking at 150 ball speed, <laughs> 253 total, 223 carry. Oh, he's put, he's put a bit of the burners on there. That's a bit more neutral. That was better, wasn't it? Yeah. What's your handicap? Uh, nine, mate. Nine? It feels, feels like it should nine. be about four, but no. What do, what do you dream of hitting the ball? How far do you want to hit it? I know that I've got the, the physique to hit the ball 300 yards. <laughs> <laughs> it's, as, it's as simple as that. You don't have to try to Where, And who was your personal trainer a few months ago? Work, oh, yeah. I was, I was, yes, yes. No, it's all gone. Right, let's have a few more balls, please. Come on, then. Matt, he loves his little horseshoe. Look at that tricep. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Hey, it's a nice ball. One five five. Oh, it's just it's effortless. Yeah, yeah. Power. I mean, that was actually a <laughs> that was a lot better. But the thing is, he's one out of five. I mean, that's <laughs> no wow. Well, it's just not consistent enough, is it? We better change it up, mate. Yeah. Yeah, let's change it up. After four balls, Matty has an average of one five eight ball speed, two fifty carry, and two seven six total. I mean, that's respectable. That's uh, respectable. But is it? Is it where you want to be? No, no, it's not. So let's make some adjustments. Right, so the first thing that we're going to adjust is your hand position and almost feeling like you've got a bit of a whip in your hand. This is a big thing that I work on with my coach, right? Is because when we, if we feel like we're hitting the ball, we tend to fling early okay. and then we tend to cast it. And then what we actually do is get in this position so it either pushes it massively out right or we pull it and we lose complete ball speed yeah, yeah. by the fact we haven't got that late whip. So okay. what I'm going to try and get you to do in these next few balls is feel like the club head is behind, almost behind you and then you move. So you see how you're trying to move in the opposite direction of it? Yeah. Okay. Complete lag and then whip all the way through. Okay. Um, okay. Two Give seconds. it a go. So Give it a go. Yeah, you want me to keep, you want me to literally like just lag. I want thing. you to completely lag the whole thing. Like I don't care where the ball goes. Are we talking like a yeah. wider take? I don't away? care where the ball goes. That's it, wide take. And I want you to feel like you just, so this whips. You feel like it's just whipping, 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 through, through, through. Okay? Okay. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. It's all right. Go. Is that actually what I needed to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same again. Whip another. Whip it's another. Do it again. Just whip. Feel like you whip. Feel like that club head's almost behind your hands. Then you whip through. Well, that's sounding nicer. Huh? Gonna get a little swing speed monitor down as well, just to yeah, I would. Just to see what you're ticking at, mate. Just to see what you're ticking at. Are you sure I'm not gonna break that? I fucking hope not. Feel like you flip and you rip through. Hello. Oh, that was nice. That was tasty. Not bad. It's not bad. We're getting there. Couple last, more. Last whip, yeah. Yeah. Last whip. It's not bad at all. Okay, it's nearly one of your best ball speeds, it's not bad. Right, now there's a little drill I'm gonna get you to do. Your clubs are lighter than mine, so we're gonna use yours. And I just want you to do a few right-handed swings, okay? So feel like you take the club, same thing here, so you have to do it with your right hand. You won't cast, you just won't, because naturally it tends to come from the left side. So just feel like you do exactly what I said and you're just flopping through, but I want you to almost feel like this is touching your back as you come through. Okay. So you're delaying it, delaying it, delaying it and then through. It's harder with a with a heavier iron. I would say if you've got like a tiny club, you go for that, but we obviously don't have one today. So just do, don't, you're not even hitting it. No, no hits, oh, okay. no hits. Just want you to just do a few balls and just feel like that's it. That's oh, it. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's like the club's actually, like to get the club yeah. to the back of my hand. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Tire. Your hand's got to get there. There you go. And again. That's nice. A much, that's a much better whippy feeling than yeah. pointless. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Is it much like better? You actually, much it better all, cue there. It all makes sense. Okay, makes a lot of sense. Right, go straight into hitting some balls off the tee. Same thing again. So you feel like, feel like just right hand swing, you feel like you're just whipping them hands through. Hello. Hello. Hello, Bunny. Hello. That's already. Woo! Much better ball speed. Go again. Whip it through. Delay, whip. Hello, 164, that's what we're talking about. We're climbing, <laughs> He's climbing, we're look, climbing. we're climbing already. We're climbing. 
Mate, big carry as well. Good, good, we're getting there. Right, same again. So really, hands behind, whoosh, whip it through. Oh! There we go, highest full speed already. There you go. So, first, first tip, best full speed so far. And that's the smallest cue, right? Now we're gonna make him go even faster. What, what are we looking at, 114 club speed? Not bad? Not bad. Not bad, but let's see, we've got to get you to one, we need to get you near to 120 if we really want to see a big difference, right? I mean, that last ball went 287 miles, it's not bad. Mate. It's not bad, it's not great, it's, it's not bad. The thing is, you're only flat carrying it around 250 still. Okay, well, we but can say that. But if we can change the launch, no, no, but if we can, we're going to now change the launch, okay. and we're going to now get you putting it up there a bit more, yeah, let's go. and that's how we're going to multiply it further. Okay, so next tip we're going to work on yeah. is the fundamentals. Okay. And that's just getting your setup sorted, because I feel like it's, going to be needed before we then move into the next bit. Go into your setup first of all, and then we'll make some adjustments. So, first thing I want to do, change the angle of your shoulders a bit more, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. You need to remember that driver is so different to your iron. Can't be keeping your shoulders neutral because you're just going to keep on moving it down. And I think if you, to get you to hit the ball further, you really need to start sweeping them more up you're on the ball. We think about your bad shot. What's usually your bad shot? Oh, yeah, slice. massive chop, massive slice. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> Big chop, Suey. Massive chop, massive right, mainly because he become, he gets so steep. And so then when he gets so steep, he all of a sudden then can't really come at that angle where he's coming down from then up. You then get that bad shot nearly every time. And also, the, launch, the spin on the ball, the launch on the ball, is just inconsistent. So the way you're going to get more consistent is starting with your setup. So get yourself, so ball-wise, I would, yeah, I'd say ball-wise you'd still be further along. That's fine, but this needs to change always feel like this is dropped and you're aiming completely up. Weight slightly more on the right foot. All right, and swing through from there. Not bad, not bad, not I bad. Didn't, I didn't even do that full speed. No, no, that yeah. was good. So remember, I still remember our first thing, the whip, yeah. whip of the hands. Now keep that right shoulder further down. Go. Wow. That was so straight. More important, that was like, and look at that carry. What was that carry? Okay, what was that started, carry? Okay, we started what was that carry? We're Two asking six, questions. One. We're asking questions. We're asking okay, questions. that's his highest carry of the day by easily, easily five or five or six <laughs> yards. No, you're gonna say fifty. I was gonna say fifty <laughs> yards. No, no, no. But you know, it wasn't his highest ball speed. But your total, I think your total was near two ninety, mate. All, right, if I can all because, all because yeah. of your launch angle. Go again. That was sick. Love that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pack your bags, Joe. Oh <laughs> my God, pack your bags. Here we go. This could be a free to Jada. Oh. oh, mate, the, ball, the ball's here. One thing I would say, right, we are at a top tracer range and the consistency of ball speeds and some of the stats is never there. Like really you want consistently track man or GC quad, like otherwise they're never going to be the best. Last one with this thing. Right, last one then. Drop that right shoulder down. Keep that weight in that back foot slightly, a bit more. And go hard. Mate, yeah, I'm now he's starting to snap it. Oh. You're a little bit over the top there. Bullshit, You're a little bit over the top, but you weren't using a proper range ball there, were you? Yeah, well, <laughs> 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 you found a little, you found a little, <laughs> a little oh, different ball there. Oh, Much better. In the last three balls, Matty has averaged over 160 ball speed for a start. He's near enough to 60 carry, which is 10 yards average higher than his first four balls, all right? And distance wise, he's nearly touching the 290. So let's see if we can get you in that 290s. Let's see if we can get that ball speed in 170. All right, I don't see why we can't do it. No, it's 100 It's gotta happen, it's gotta happen. So final tip, now we've got his set up a little bit better. He's a bit more dropped with that right shoulder. His weight's a bit more on his right foot. We're now gonna focus on lifting that left heel. Honestly, the quickest way to just get five mile an hour ball speed, club speed, is by getting that left heel up. It naturally makes us rotate more. You naturally then rotate more this way, you then rotate more that way. Just gonna get more speed, okay? So that is gonna be the next focus point. I want you, to, I generally just want you to feel, take a few swings, remember what we've just worked on, and then I want you to feel like you just lift, lift this left heel up as you go back. You're just gonna do a few swings, practicing it there, and then we'll move in to some full swings after that. Okay, all right, remember that. So just remember small ones, small ones, just small ones. Take it to halfway. There, that's it. Lift the heel up. There you go. Lift the heel up. I feel like I want my feet to be closer together to lift the heel up. No, 
no, you, no same driver's thing. You'll get used to it. Just get you get yourself used to it. Lift the heel up. That's it. Lift the heel up. You feel like I'm generating any power off the heel at the moment, unless I turn it that way, and then I can come on. Just do it. Don't don't overthink okay. it. Go. It should feel like this. You've never done it before. Give yourself time. Right. Let's hit a few balls. Get a feel for it. I mean, it's not so bad. Much, it's so much better carry. I mean, yeah, already we've, still, already still. we've increased your carry by, again, 261 carry, another 10 yards, boom. I mean, it's perfect for winter as well, <laughs> when you're not getting... I'm not here to talk about the winter, I'm here, <laughs> I'm, here to, I'm here to get some big numbers. I'm here to get, I'm here to get some massive, massive I'm carry. Through, I'm going to get through this one, let's get this Go on, then. fade out. That's it, really lift that heel up and just rotate, feel like you just turn the hips, think hips. Hello. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, we're touching, we're touching. that's better. It Still wasn't as high, way. that one. Oh my God, biggest carry of the day. What's that? 265. Hey, look, here we go, look. Yeah, no, here we go. Hey, <laughs> here we go, right, and the longest distance of the day. That's what we're talking about. Longest drive of the day. 265 carry, 289 total, 165 ball speed. What do we start? Yeah. We had 250 flat carry, yeah. and I think it's few tickled, few tickled 270, 275, so. 15 yards so far. We're good. Come on. Keep turning. Right shoulder down. Here we go. Cool. Just a bit aggressive there. Remember, remember, remember what we first said about the whip. All right, don't just because I've changed a few things. Keep the whip. You've got to keep the whip. Okay. That's where the effortless speed's going to come from. Effortless speed. Effortless speed. We love effortless speed. But right, let's go for a little, little, little bit less aggression. Let's go for a bit more effortless speed. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, as, it's as straight as they go, but it's just still keep that hand. It feels to me like you're still moving. Still keep straight in keep the club, yeah. Keep the club behind you. He loves lowering his tee as well. I don't know why that is. Get your get that right shoulder down. Here we go. Way in the back foot on the way back. Hello, money ball. Yeah, didn't strike it, mate. Yeah, we're still 118 club though. It's getting quicker though. Same again. It didn't strike it very well, still hitting 260 carry though. That was 118, Bob. I know it was, yeah. I know what it was. Get to 120. Get to 120. You're in the proper region. Right, let's go. Big rotate. No. Not bad, not bad. Right, have a little rest. Uh, that was 118, by the way. What? That was 119. Not 119. So the club speed's getting quicker and quicker and quicker. All that Matty's struggling with now is because he's made so many adjustments in such a short space of time. Hitting the little bit of the hitting the middle of the club face can be quite difficult, but the key is the club speed. Right, it's a bit like when you do with long drive. If you're not if you're not even remotely in the 140s or 150s, like you can't compete. You're just not going to generate. Even if you hit out the middle, you're not going to generate the speed enough. But still, hitting it out the middle is will always be so flipping underrated. And if you can do it consistently, you're going to get consistent distance with your golf ball. But the fact Matty's got five mile an hour quicker club head speed already is a really positive sign. Let's go for another set. Yeah. Let's try and get over 120. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's see if you can hit one out of the middle and see how far it goes. We okay. still need to hit that 300. Come on. Come on. If, you, if I use your driver, I bet I'll do it next ball. <laughs> <laughs> he, can I just say, his, his driver is half an inch smaller. How, how, actually, no, it's about two inches it's smaller. Two it's honestly like a... Five wood. Look this little this. thing's like a kiddie's <laughs> driver, mate. Next to mine. Look, yeah. If oh, we so give that's, that's why it goes so much straighter. Got a kiddies driver, <laughs> mate. Look at that. So, so I reckon a bit more lag, a bit more. Yeah, bit. I reckon he's got it. Let's give it a go. I'm, I'm not sure to hit this big stick. If he gets off the ground, though, mine is eight degrees and a, a tipped extra stiff shaft, which. Mark the windows, this, Tino. This may make it an interesting one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he there. Ball so there you go. He won 70 ball speed already, just based on the fact that it's a bit longer. What's your club head speed? One si right, come on. Get that club head speed over. Let's go. Keep your weight back all the way through the swing. Go. Wow. Wow. That's gone. Wow. That's gone. 176 full speed. Carry shot. Oh my God. Is he going to tip the 300? Yeah, of course he is. Is he? Of course he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the good show. Well, that's bigger, longer than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Just shows what a difference in club actually makes, Mate, though. If I can get this thing in the air, I'm thinking 320. <laughs> Have you seen that? All of a sudden, he's just completely changed. He's just at 307, 176 full speed. I mean, come on, I want 120 club. 120 club, please. Go. Rip it through. Oh. Oh, it's a bit 
There we go, though. What do we care about? What do we care Ooh, about? There we go. What do we care about? There we go. 120 club. All right, so, so far, he's put on at least six mile an hour club head speed. We've got him an extra 20 mile an hour ball speed. And you've hit your first 307, mate. Well, not my first, but yeah. <laughs> well, that's, it's your first. It, it, it's up there. It's his first, all right. He's not, let's not, let's not pussy for a round here. It's your first. Right, do you want to stick with my driver? It depends whatever you want to do, mate, because I, I, this has got 320 written on it. That, <laughs> that one. I'd love to, the thing is, I think if you actually extended your normal driver to a normal length yeah, like now, this is normal, this why is did you, why, can you just explain to the people, why, did, why, why, uh, so, yeah. why is it shorter? Come on. Great friend of mine, Ben Smith, a little bit clueless, a great golfer. He um, basically said, do you want to start hitting the fairways? I said, yeah. He said, just shorten the, if you basically, if I have a shorter shaft, you're going to lose more speed, but you sh should be able to gain a little bit more consistency. Now I, hit, I do hit most fairways. But uh, it's just not very good distance. Do you know what? I can't wait to take this guy on the golf course. Because <laughs> he, he, he really does back himself. I feel like I'd still beat you five and four. Uh, right, let's go. We're now going to do the comparison. I've given Matty his driver back. He's not using the uh, Alder wand anymore. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he's now going to do five hits. And we're going to see the difference in his averages and what them three adjustments have really done. Come on. Let's go. Not bad. Oh, now he's striping it. Now he's striping it. Two good balls, that. Yeah. Hey. Oh my God. Two nine three. Mm. You can afford to have a bad swing, but I tell you what, his ball speed was still high on that one. Two more big ones. Two more big ones. Come on, baby. I'm getting cold now. Not even hitting any. One. Right, big one. Gotta give us the money here. Hello. 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 Right. So, give us your give us your predictions. How well did you think you hit them five balls? Uh, best. They, Fairly solid. They weren't. They're they right your best. Out, they weren't right out of the biscuit. Okay, but I think though you like if you look at five of your probably most average shots, I think they would probably be like pretty good. Yeah. So the averages we got there: two six three. Carry. So you've increased your carry by 13 yards. Not bad. Not bad. We know you've got a 170 full speed in you, especially with the Alder ones. We even <laughs> got one with that one. But average, 167. So you've put on at least 12 mile an hour. Then total was 287. That's average, by the way. Two of, the, two of them drives that Matty hit, one, the, I think the furthest was 294, and then your second one was 290. So the yeah. rest, and the rest were tickling around the 286. Mate, mate. That's not Tw too 20 bad. 20 minutes later and we're... Literally 20 minutes later. And obviously, if you practice this, if you really get it finely down, if you really put the reps in in terms of just focusing on getting quicker and quicker and quicker, mate, you'd be golden. So what we're going to finish with now is I'm going to bring my long drive driver out. Oh, happy days. And I'm going to see what he's like hitting the big, big stick. All right, <laughs> and this is where it's going to put his test to the thing. I'm also going to hit some balls now because I'm getting cold, so... Let's do it. Right, what we've got is 47 inches long. Standard driver's usually around 45, 44. Matty's driver, 41. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got three degrees of loft. So, in order for Matty to even get this thing off the ground, he is gonna need to use all of the tools that I've given him. <laughs> Let's just uh, warm, I'm gonna have a three warm up balls. It's off the ground, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's diving. Turns out, turns out I'm going to need a bit of work off the ground. Right. So we're here today because I've got five key things that Aaron needs to do to get better at long. They are the worst sighted balls I think I've ever hit in my life. Oh, oh, I reckon I've got you here. Right, Matty, first round. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Don't touch the Alder ones. Oh. You stop touching my golf bag. I don't want to hit If you really want some entertainment, here you have it. I do not like that mat, though. Can I just put that out there? No. My back foot feels like it's going to fall off the end. It's not making excuses. Definitely not making excuses. Uh, just imagine if I just caught one. I'm just moving these balls out of the way. I just don't know about your oh, club fan. Don't know about your club fan nowadays. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it feels like I'm on a, a broom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's nice to see Matty's ball speed at 139. <laughs> this, is, this is just stupid. <laughs> I 
Yeah, have, but it's good. It adds some realism to how hard it is to hit that thing. I know. Yeah, it is actually. Now he's roofing my driver. What are you doing? Let me change back now. What are you doing? Let me change back. Okay, you go to the Alder one. Yeah. Because I guarantee I can get 320 yards for the Alder one. Right. I'm going to start whipping now. Come on then, let's see it, big dog. Oh, <laughs> Don't like Look at that, the little, the little. Mm, yeah. Don't like this furry cut. Mm, very, mm. very slow at the moment. <laughs> 340, 345. I'm hate, hate. It's over the top at the moment. Oh, wow. crushed it. 177. Oh, that's talking at that. Oh, 306, 306. Mate, here we go. Come on. You're up. It's good, it's not going to stay on the. Oh. 199 all speed as well. I'm more worried about the club. Club head speed was better. What in club head speed? Starting to get in the 140s now. It's about time. And I was only 120. What? And I was 120. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what? He's about he's slowly figuring out the difference between me and him. Just a, a whole 20 mile an hour in terms of club head speed. I fucking just catch one. <laughs> Go on then. Oh! Oh my god, it's what, what's that? 182? 182 ball it's speed. Finished. It's finished. Oh my god. Finished. What have we got? Finished. What have we got? Three. Get up there. There Three. it is. <laughs> yeah. See? He's got it. That was monstrous. That was, that was actually monstrous. Oh. 320 yards. 320 no, yards. He knew. 182 ball speed. Hey. And I'm logged in as a guest, so I'm not even going to be on the leaderboard. <laughs> he's livid. He's livid because he can't make the top trace of the leaderboard. Hey, honestly. Well done, mate. Go. That was class. It's hard to get 346. <laughs> he's so excited. <laughs> Longest drive, 320. Yeah. 320 Average, mm -hmm. around the 290s. Yeah. Full speed, an extra 12 mile an hour. Yeah. Club speed, an extra 6 mile an hour. Huge. Carry, an extra 12 yards. The fact you've even got 320 in the tank's mad. Yeah. I mean, the first thing you need to do is get a driver that's actually standard length. Correct. Right? Okay. Stop handicapping yourself. <laughs> it just shows if you put them three techniques to practice, work, in a short space of time, you can really make a big difference to the distance you hit a golf ball. Remember that a driver is different to an iron. It is a bit of a different setup, yeah. but by them few adjustments, if Matty keeps on practicing, Maybe we'll have to, you know, maybe we'll have to bring you back. Yeah. yeah maybe we'll have fun. to bring you back, you yeah, know, a few over. months' time, bring him into summer, and hopefully he's booming at over 300 every single time. Anything past Ben Smith and we're, we're off to the <laughs> Anything past Benny. I think I've got him. Right, cheers for coming on. Cheers, mate. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in a bit. Like and subscribe, motherfucker. Do that. <laughs> Bye.